Look like it did it. Keep rolling. I definitely got one in that one, and it came out the other side. So hold up a second. Twice as devastating. Let me show you what I got here. I got a hole here. Maybe a small hole there. Definitely a hole there. You can see inside the can. Now this one, very impressive. That'll be a good dead shot. And it just tried to come out the other side. So, I'm being real quiet. Both those cans are full of water. I'm about, I don't know, 24 feet off. And uh, I hit them both. I hit them both with that guy right there. Just bam. So slingshot is a very valuable uh, uh, hunting tool, very quiet. This is the ammo I was using right there. Nice big steel bearings. Uh, I did this before and I made a previous video. So I'm, I'm back to about here. I made a previous video. I wasn't hitting anything worth a squat. I wasn't doing much better. Yeah, I got him laying out. I've got a little pest running around. So. Basic um, the old fashioned daisy slingshot did that kind of damage right there. So, I want to add that. It's a good, fun thing to practice with. We hit about uh, oh, 110 today, heat index. So, hopefully, it will start coming down. So, but I want to share that with you because that's a lot of power for a slingshot to actually puncture a hole right there in a the soup can. I did this years ago and I couldn't believe it. But I wanted to duplicate it. I made another video, I didn't have much luck, but man, it's really zapping now. So once you get those bands broke in and uh, watch a few videos, learn how to shoot one, these are a blast. That's how we do it at the Flying Can Ranch. Just wanna share it with you, later.